Ooh. Oh. Yummy. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh. Suge. God, I love bottomless stomach so much. <laughs> Hey everybody, Devoted Oblivion here, and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. Last time, we basically spent all our time partying at Maharaja. And this time, we're going to be doing two sub-stories. One of them will actually take us back to Maharaja, but is really good. And the other is one that I mentioned that there's a second part to it, that I think I could tack, on, tack it on here as well. So... Anyways, the first sub story is leading us to Maharaja, and look at you know it, it's two guys at this specific spot again. So let's go and walk closer to them. No. So, what's this big scoop you got? Mm -hmm. Huh? I got some good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Ugh, bad news first, then. Miracle's gone missing! Yeah. What? What do you mean, missing? Oi. Whoa, 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 are you nuts? Keep it down! If they hear you, they'll kill us both to keep the secret from leaking to the paparazzi. Whoa, whoa, sorry. Uh. This is serious stuff. The whole world's in an uproar because the pop star prince has gone AWOL. Makes sense. He's a global superstar. I hope he's alright. Okay, so what's the good news? I saw him. Miracle. The missing superstar. Uh. What? You're pulling my leg. Where? Where? Oi. I told you, keep it down. If the wrong person hears us, they'll grind us into hamburger meat. Uh. Sorry, sorry. So, where? Maharaja. I saw him go in with a security detail. I bet he's traveling incognito. Oh yeah? I get it. He's on a private visit to Japan. <laughs> Bingo. It's too bad the security guards have Maharaja locked down tight. There's no getting past the... Uh, oh, yeah, I guess not. How am I going to get in? Substory 23, Miracle in Maharaja. Miracle's at Maharaja? It's just a rumor, but maybe I'll take a look if I'm in the area. Well then, <laughs> that's something. So, let's run on over to Maharaja. Just like last episode, but I really like this. This is you have to complete both of the sub stories from before, so the show must go on and Miracle on Tenkaichi Street, just so you can do this. And I really like the sub story because of uh, what happens in at the end of it. But you can see we can't go. There's some dude standing in front of Maharaja, so let's go closer. Huh? There's a big foreign guy in front of Maharaja. That rumor about Miracle visiting Maharaja might not be wishful thinking after all. Hey! Stop! Oh. Huh? <sighs> Sorry, private booking. No normal business hours now. Is Miracle here? Ha ha ha. Where'd you hear a bogus story like that? What would a global superstar like Miracle be doing hanging out here? I'm an acquaintance. Give me a chance to say hi, and then I'll be on my way. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As a someone like you is a friend of Miracle's, get real. So, why are you trying to lie your way in here? If you're not gonna leave, I'll have to make sure you do. Menacing man! Let's fight the security guard. The buff security guard. Gomez. I... I am not going, beast. Let's go with Brawler, and let's take care of Gomez here. Damn, that heat action barely did much. But he's not that bad of a fight. He does fight. Um, whoa. He, do he doesn't fight. He may be big, but he doesn't fight entirely like Mr. Shakedown. But he can break your guard, or not guard, your combo like that. So if you're having troubles, I recommend going to rush and evading his attacks and then just going in. As I missed that entire combo. What the? Okay. What? Whoa, I never saw it. Okay, I know 
doing the kick, but I didn't, I'd never seen him do something like that. Like the, the leg grab before. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm messing this up. Yeah, I think I'm more used to just having more abilities locked. Locked? Unlocked. Since, damn, Rush does not feel that good. And he's doing it a second time. I'm, I still, I don't think I ever had him do that to me. Even on my own time. Oh well. I guess I'll be lame and just win by using Brawler. Oh, god. Yeah, looks like there's nothing good nearby to grab with a uh, beast, so good thing I'm not using this. There's a heat action fall off, but... Two more punches? One more punch, one more punch, come on. Kick? No. There we go. Ooh. Ugh. You're gonna have to kill me to get through here. A bodyguard doesn't just give up. Bodyguard, huh? So a miracle is here. Uh, oh, shoot. The man stands out like a white glove. You can't expect people not to notice. What are you gonna do to Miracle? I told you. I just want to say hi. I'm an acquaintance. Huh? You're lying! Pretty stubborn, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Huh? What's all this noise? D this guy's demanding to see Miracle. What? What? This guy? Hey! Oh, hey! It's Kiryu! Miracle will be so stoked to see you, man! You're Louie, from the video shoot. Miracle is here, isn't he? Yeah! Come on, Kiryu! Let's go see the man! Uh, hey! You sure it's alright ta taking that guy to see Miracle? Dude, this is D. Kiryu, star of Kamurocho and friend to Miracle Johnson. Wait, so you weren't lying? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, you want to get Guardian Miracle with me? We'd be an unbeatable team. <laughs> huh, thanks, but no. What the? Nani? Nani? Maharaja is really close to the public? Huh, <laughs> looking sharp as a superstar. <laughs> of course, they say he's the one. Huh, <laughs> that he is. Hey. hey, Miracle, look who's here. It's Kiryu. Oh! Hey, it's been a while, Miracle. Whoa. Oh, Kiryu, did you come to see me? Yeah, you can say that. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Just as shy as always, I see. I'm happy to see you. Uh, yeah, looks like you haven't changed much yourself. What are you doing back in Japan? Another video shoot? Ah, oh. oh, no way. This is my ninja vacation. A uh, ninja vacation? Buying this place out is your idea of keeping things quiet? This is it. Haha. <laughs> uh, okay. But why did you decide to come back to Japan? <laughs> Maharaja is my kind of place. It's a real wonderland. I may even build one back home. Wait, you're telling me you came out to Japan just to visit Maharaja? Yes, on my private jet. It's just a hop and a skip away. Right, you're the superstar. Ha, says the superstar of Kamurocho. Now, Kiryu, are you ready to get your groove on? Nanny. Nanny, dance, me. Come Ooh. on, don't you want to dance with me? Hey. He's the king of dance. Only the best dancers from around the world get to dance with Miracle. The best of the best. Come to think of it, I was too busy protecting you to get a good look at your dance moves during the video shoot. Then shall we? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. Uh, no, no, cure you. Can't you see? I need more positivity. I'm about the excitement. Show me how you feel. Right, sorry. I'm about to hit the dance floor with the global superstar. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Let's have fun with this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Let's break it down now. Time to get funky. Whoa! Huh. Let's do this. Whoa! Let's dance to I'm Gonna Make Her Mine. And I'm gonna be real here and straight and straight up like you cannot win against Miracle here. You're meant to lose, so I don't care. Let's go hard. I'm going to I'm 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 gonna try and keep commentary as I'm still trying to get better at it. But ooh, we have nothing to lose here since Miracle is that is too good. He's programmed to basically be impossible to beat. I think so. I don't think some something odd happens if you actually hack and beat him. So I'm not sure. And we're dancing to his song as well too. So it's nice. And holy, I'm actually off beat. Look, he already has a fever going on. What the hell? But like, I really like the side, uh, the sub story. You can see why, you can sort of see why I like it. Oh, I was too early there. Damn. Like this, this is a entirely a three sub story chain. I was so early up there, but basically you have to, you basically become a video producer to help Papillon Kato, and then you get. Oh, my. all right. Actually, want to focus there, but okay. But you actually you start off as being a video producer or uh, stand in, just being fake. And then you get, because of that, you get to work with Miracle Johnson on his music video, and then it just leads to this. I freaking love it. It This is so good. This is just a funny chain of events that is just fun. I guess if I played better, I could have just knocked out a CP there. But, yeah. And also want to note that the rank of pop star Prince is also exclusive to Miracle Johnson here. No one can get that except for him. But yeah, that's uh, me failing at the dance, but we, we got one star, so I think that's a win. <sighs> what was that at the end? Haha, <laughs> ha, you, you know how to bust a move? That was seriously crazy fun. I can see why you're the superstar. For about a second, I thought I had a shot of beating you. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, no, Kiryu, I wasn't even close, boy. Don't be so tough on yourself. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Forget about being, forget being my bodyguard. He'd be a great fit as one of my backup dancers. <laughs> huh. I had fun, too. That was so much fun. I want to commemorate the moment. Hey, Louie, you're up. Once again, a black and a white box that we get to choose. As the <laughs> as they dance in the background. <laughs> Take your pick, black or white. A large black box or a small white box? Which do I take? Well, we're going to go with the black box as it gets you a very valuable item. The encounter finder. The white box gets you something not as valuable as this. Are you sure? Isn't this real expensive? <laughs> Who do you take me for? I'm the pop star prince! Huh. <laughs> you certainly are. Then I accept it with my gratitude. When I'm around you, Kiryu, I feel like I can never get bored. Maybe I'll even extend my stay here in Japan. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I owe you big time, Kiryu. You helped me drill the world. I want to repay the favor. Anything I can do for you? Are you sure you can do that? What? What? Don't you remember who I am? It's no problem at all. I'd be worried about what I have to pay you. There's no way I could afford a pop superstar. <laughs> no problem. You get the miracle discount. Huh. <laughs> so you do still want to be paid, huh? That's fine. I could definitely use your help. <laughs> miracle has joined your team as an advisor. We have to wait until we start our business just to be able to do this. But, boom. 
Miracle is one of the best advisors that I can't even use because I only have a fraction of that money. Uh, but he's really good. When it comes to shopping and entertainment, those double circles, mm, solid. But that pay is, um, uh, I wish I had more money. Samurai. Kiryu, you're a real good friend to me, man. I'm looking forward to spending more time with you. Yeah, of course. Alright, why don't you say we strike a pose to finish? Huh, but... Don't be shy, guy. You can't get all self-conscious at a disco, can you? <laughs> good boy. Alright, let's do this. Haha, <laughs> ready? Oh! Oh! End. Man, Kiryu definitely lived a life back in, uh... Back in the 80s. This is this is in the 80s, right? Or is it the 90s? I, I already forgot. But yeah, damn, Kiryu was living the life. Anyways, our next sub-story will take us back into the Champion District. So I'll meet everyone there. Alright. Uh, we are in the Champion District now. And let's head into Shellac again. Yo, Kiryu-kun. Uh. Yo, Kasuga. How's it going? <laughs> ah, great. Guns blazing, as always. Job's going well, too. Mm. The job, huh? You're a magazine reporter, right? Are you still prying to Kamurocho's dark side? Uh. Darn tootin'. That said, there's been nothing but trivial tidbits to report lately. Covering small-time stories sucks. <sighs> Better than taking on anything too hot to handle. Or are you out looking for trouble again? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was dead when that gun deal went sour. Thanks again for saving my sorry ass. I got something to ask you, Kiryu Kun. Do you know about a group called the Human Trafficking Ring? Sub Story 5 The Human Trafficking Club. Human Trafficking Ring. Never heard of it, but judging by the name, it sounds like trouble. <laughs> no doubt. It's a lead I happen to stumble upon. On. Word on the street is the human trafficking ring's base right here in Kamro Cho, somewhere around Pink Alley. From what I hear, you can buy people there for the right amount of money. Young, old, men, women, whatever you want in the nationality of your choice, all for sale. There's really a place to act crazy in Kamro Cho? I know. It sounds nuts, doesn't it? Yeah, it's hard to believe. But if there really were such a place, and if you were a journalist, Kiryu Kun, what would you do? Oi. Whoa, Kasuga, you better not be. <laughs> oh, sure, I thought I could let that slide without checking it out. Not as a reporter for the weekly Shinjutsu, I can't. Figures, you never learn, do you? Despite the risks, Kasuga is intent on investigating these alleged slave traders called the Human Trafficking Ring. Uh, it does not matter what you choose, so we're gonna stop him, because no, 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 stop yourself. Kasuga, I don't know if that ring actually exists, but you should quit sniffing around for trouble regardless. Keep digging for dirt, and you'll end up six feet under it. Mm. I don't doubt it, Kiryu-kun. I know what you're saying is true, and I'm also grateful for your concern. Dead. Dead. But I'm a journalist. I have a duty to deliver the truth to my readers. That's the one thing I could never compromise. If that's your credo, fine. Just be careful when you're investigating. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. The iron's hot and needs to be struck. I'll be off investigating around Pink Alley. Uh huh. See you around, Kirikun. And out he goes. Kasuga's gone to Pink Alley. Hope he doesn't run into any trouble. Well, then, if we check our map, we just have to go to the corner of Pink Alley over there. And. Whoa, this is the second part of the Kasuga sub-story chain, which is actually just two parts. So this, the one from before and this. So let's head to Pink Alley. Hey, got 30 kilometers, okay. And we can see down here there's someone in green. So let's talk to them. Ah, no, there... Okay, there he is. Oh, wait. 
Oh, I remember who that, that guy is, but pretty uh, minor. Don't care for him right now, but there's Kasuga. Hmm. Huh? Isn't that Kasuga? Human trafficking. Show letter of introduction. They're whispering, but I can't hear everything. Fine, come. Kasuga has been investigating the human trafficking ring somewhere around here. I must have caught him in the act of going undercover. I have to ask him for the inside scoop back at that bar. Whoa, mysterious. He's just gone right away. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Very suspicious. So, let's head back to Shellac. And go talk to Kasuga. And good thing, if you upgraded your sprint, that you can easily sprint back. But also, it's not that far away. So, there we go. Shellac. This is the bar where I met Kasuga, the reporter investigating the Dark Side of Cho. Let's go in. I've got time for one of Kasuga's stories if he's here. Kasuga's not here. Hmm. Mm. Is Kasuga not coming today? Are you meeting someone here? Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. You know the guy who always sits there? I was just wondering if he was coming by today. Ah. Ah, him. He used to come by pretty much every day. But I haven't seen him at all recently. Mm. That's odd. Mm. Last time I saw him was when you two were drinking together, I think. Uh. Ah, I remember. That was when we talked about the human trafficking ring. After that, I saw him digging around in Pink Alley. So he hasn't been back here since then. I've got a bad feeling about this. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Mm. Huh? Yeah, it does. I'm sure it'll be okay. Mm. I hope so. Maybe I should go check out Pink Alley, just in case. Hmm. Thanks, Barkeep, for that uh, bit of info. Since, hmm, Kasuga hasn't been here for a while. And the last time the Barkeep saw him was also when we were there, too. So, let's hope that nothing bad happens to him. And if something does, well, it's time to bail him out and save his ass. So, let's head back to air. Oh, someone's on the ground, so let's go closer. Hmm. Huh? That's... Kasuga. Oi. Oi, Kasuga. Ugh, Kirikun. What happened to you? Kirikun, run! What? Come on, let's get you out of here. Little Weasel, look how far he ran. <gasps> who are you? Hand over that rodent reporter. He's the guy who was talking with Kasuga before. Is he from the human trafficking ring? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Can't do that. He's an associate of mine. <gasps> oh, you're his friend, are you? Then you should know. This town's dark secrets are best left in the shadows. Oh, dot 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 dot. I don't know or care who you clowns are. I just know your boy there came around sniffing us out. For that, you're both going on the auction block. Another menacing man. Let's say, let's bail Kasuga out against Fukuoka. And this guy likes to block at the start, but blocks in general. But it shouldn't be that bad. We are in an alley, so there are some things that we can use, and damn, my HP is taking a bit of a beating. Well, because I didn't heal from our fight against Gomez. Well, 
Yeah, so... Come on. Get back up. Get back up. Let's see he can actually do here. That should be it. There we go. 100 enemies in Brawler style, too. You're not half bad, but not good enough. Too bad for you. The cavalry's coming. Let's see how long you can hold out against my backup with a rat to babysit. Duh. What is going on here? That voice, boss man? Well, why would you come here yourself, boss? I, I'm so sorry, sir. I'll take care of these two right away. But please, I, I, I be beg your pardon. You may release them. They are free to go. <laughs> But, but these weasels came looking for a fight! They are ordinary citizens, nothing more. Just a little overly curious, I'm sure. But, but they know everything! And what of it? You're as much to blame for trying to conduct business with a civilian. Some secrets are best left in the shadows. I, I'm sorry, sir. I'll let them go. Heh, <laughs> you got off easy this time. safe and teleported back to shellac you saved me again kirikun thanks if it weren't for you i'd be merchandise at the human trafficking ring oh <sighs> you better take a lesson to heart kasuka if you sniff around you when you smell trouble it'll bite you on the nose <sighs> yeah i know you called me out of some deep shit twice now seriously kirikun i'm sorry must have been in over my head after all. I'll stop sticking my nose into Kamurocho's shadows for the time being. Uh, yeah. Cool your heels a while. And if you still want to chase the city's shadows after the heat's died down, be more careful next time. <laughs> huh. There's a sound idea, Kirikun. Maybe I'll lay low. Mm. You can laugh now, but if that man hadn't shown up, he could have been in a world of pain. Uh-huh. Not that I'd know. I was out cold. Well, you saw the boss at Human Trafficking Ring, right? Yeah? I envy you, man. I caught a glimpse, but he hid his identity under a hat. Even if I saw him again, I wouldn't recognize his face. Mm. That's still a massive coup. We're talking about a guy who might control part of Kamracho's underworld. Someone big. <laughs> huh. Dream on. But a boss's voice and stature. Can't shake the feeling I might know him from somewhere. Mystery mounts in Trafficking Terror. Is the ring's ring leader right behind you? How's that for a headline? What do I say about cooling your heels? So much for learning your lesson. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. Call it an occupational hazard. <laughs> Guess that's just who you are, Kasuga. <laughs> it's nice to see you two drinking together again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. That's true. See, Kasuga? Our barkeep was worried about you, too. <laughs> oh, is that right? Thanks. You're the best, I swear. You got me as a daily regular for life. I'm very happy to hear that, but if I may, you must be more cautious around these parts, after all. They say some dark secrets are best left in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Huh? That voice. Mm -hmm. Is something the matter, sir? Yeah. Y yeah. No, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. No, it can't be. Hmm. The barkeep? Is the boss man? It can't be, right? Anyways, with that sub story done, I will meet everyone Ooh. back at our business because, if you may have guessed, something has happened there. All right, we're back on Supon Street, and look who we have here. Yo, Kiriku, have you been? Hey, Kasuga, you're not sticking your neck where it doesn't belong again, are you? <laughs> I get around. I do, I do. Huh. Business as usual, huh? But what brings you here? I want to ask a favor, Kirikun. As part of my research for an upcoming article, I'd like to help you with your biz. What? My business? We're short on people, so I'd appreciate the help, I guess, but... Heh <laughs> That's great. Thanks. I'll work hard for my pay. Kasuga has joined your team as a manager. And he's pretty... If, like, bad, 
mid? Mid. He's only good at the second node, and then the others are just you're not making as much. Wait a minute. Pay? You want a salary? Oh, chill out. I do pretty good work, if I do say so myself. Huh, fine. Welcome aboard. Sweet. Thanks for having me. Well then, now that Casca has joined, alongside Mr. Miracle Johnson, well, I think it is a better place to end things off here. So, with that, next time on Yakuza 0, we are going to be doing... Oh God, he's so expensive. We'll, we'll be doing a few more sub-stories before we finally head to Serena. So, with that, I'll see everyone next time.